Well, initially I was based in the national office in Atlanta, and so that was that was mainly office work. And when I to say office work does not tell the half of it because what we're getting is daily reports of church burnings and people being beat for trying to register to vote and families who are, are shielding us and um, protecting us in a variety of ways, feeding clothing, um, using the shotguns, you know, to protect us, all of that. We at the age of 17, 18, 19 years old developed this network of support for the work that we were doing in the South. And so it's friends of SNCC, it's campus friends of SNCC, it's if somebody gets arrested, um, you can call somebody at two o'clock in the morning to say, well, Charlie Cobb just got arrested in Macomb, Mississippi. Um, this is the number for the sheriff. And somebody from Chicago would call there. Or um, we would have the campus friends of SNCC. And so all of these reports that we're getting daily, we would put into this newsletter, letter, the student voice. And it would go out to, to campus communities. And part of it was just to make sure that they are in touch with us, that they know what's going on in the South. Because in a lot of ways, most of the country did, was not aware of the horrible intimidation, the state-sponsored terrorism that was going on around the right to vote uh, in the South. I'm coming up from Tarrytown, New York, and I'm thinking, you know, Mr. Policeman is my friend. And then I realized, they want us dead. You know, I mean, they really don't want us doing what we're doing. I run up against these former Southern sheriffs who are now the agents uh, for the FBI in a lot of these communities. And so, um, you know, have, if, trying to force them to listen to me. So what I had to do as a, as a, a 18 year old at that point was to change my voice and to talk to them as if you will listen to me. You will listen. I don't care how old I am. You're going to listen to me. You know, and, and that kind of sense that um, uh, you're doing that out of that national office. Um, you're doing photo photography so that people can't say, oh, no, he never beat so-and-so. Well, yeah, I got a picture of it, you know, and I got a picture of the police acting the fool. You know, I've got all, you have the photos, you've got the proof. Uh, we had a search research department. SNCC people knew who ran the town when they went into it. We knew who was on the Board of Trade. We knew who were the cha Chamber of Commerce. We knew who were the power brokers in that community that you have to worry about as you're trying to get black people registered to vote without getting them killed. And so all of that is at play. And we're learning how to um, really research. One of the things I carried with me the rest of my life was that if you say something, you got to back it up. Always you bring the goods, you bring the research so that people, even if they don't agree with you, at least think, well, maybe I don't want to mess with her because at least she has some validation of what she's talking about. Yeah, And I, all of that was coming out of SNCC.